Hello guys good evening and welcome to my youtube channel and this is my very first video uploading into my channel and i'm really really excited about it my name is jishin raj i am from south india and an aquis artist by profession for more than 8 to 9 years of experience in the field of architecture visualization so my main purpose of my channel is to share deeper learnings and more advanced techniques about architecture visualizations and the renderings but obviously i will be going through the basics also but i will be focusing more on the advanced stuff related to 3ds max and renderings which will include mostly tutorials the tips and tricks the workflow methods the plugins and scripts used for the things file managing tools and all the stuffs like that so let's go to my first video so today in my first video so i will be going to show you how to import the cat plan how to import the cat plan and make it clean make it clean for working purpose and i see many of the people they just import the cat plan and just make it as a group and start working which will make the file heavier so i'll be telling you what is the best way to do this thing so i'll be opening my cat and this is the plan which i am going to import it so let's go into 3d max and the file units is in millimeters so i'm going into max 21 so let me make sure go to customize units and my units is in millimeters so it's in millimeters so i'm going to file click import import uh my pc id cat files ground floor so the my incoming units are the same so i don't want to change any option so there is a option called derive autocad primitives by one object if you click one object it means all the cad lines will be in a one single spline so i don't want to take that uh i'll be going to the layer blocks as hierarchy node hierarchy split by material so this is the option which i will be going so i'll be going i'll be getting all the cat lines separately as a layer as each and every color is denoted to it so i will be taking this option and you will leave other options as default and if you go to the geometry options there is an option called weld nearby vertices this make sure you get it checked because most of the cat lines joint for example if is in lines are in l shape and the corners if you want to get it welded so you will give the weld threshold value either 3 to 5 3 is fine like let's go to 5 so you click 5 and you click it okay so do not change any other options let it all be default and click okay so we had imported the plan so i'm clicking all w has a shortcut for uh, maximizing the viewport i will go to the top and i'll press g to disable my grid i don't want to work with the grid so if you will select all which is control a and you can see here like 2500 entities selected which means there are 2500 objects which may be splines or which may be solids this may be blocks so what you have to do is you have to clean this plan and make it suitable to work forward so i see many of the people they just import the plan and select this one and make it group and call plan and they will save it and that's not the right way to do so so first of all what i'm going to do is uh so you can see there are like many different colors for each splines like gray like red walls will be green windows will be glasses will be blue so what to do so first you are going to go to the option edit go to select by choose color and you click the first color so green you have selected the color green and you have got all the green lines together and if you isolate it you will see all the green lines together so press control a go right click convert to spline okay so you have converted all the lines into spline so if you will control a you will have 243 entity selected so what you will do now you will click the line 
go to attach multiple at the right side on the modify panel if you click attach multiple you select all the lines and go to attach so now you can see that you had already attached all the lines here so if you will control i which is inverse selection if you will click control i you can see there are like 30 objects selected where you cannot see where you cannot move which is invisible so which means that the, those are the cat blocks which needs to be deleted and which is like uh, we don't want that so we just delete that and we got the green green lines as one line so you can hide that for now and let's go to unisolate the selection so we'll repeat the same process for the all the rest of the lines so go to edit select by choose color we go to the brown color we selected all the brown color go to so we isolated the selection control a go to right click control convert to editable spline click click a line go to modify panel click attach multiple and select all so you will be attaching all the brown thing and if you will press control i there will be nothing so it's not necessary that every everything as there should be a block so this is a clean line so you can use it you can hide it so I'll be going through the rest of the lines like fastly I will select the white line select by color so after attaching the white white lines I can see if I control convert I have uh, inverse my selection if I inverse the selection you can see 456 object which is an unwanted block so you can just delete it same way as a reminder for the other ones so I just selected this one and I have click hide why we are hiding lines too because like if you hide the lines and the rest we can see only the lines which are yet to be worked out so it will be easy for me to get selected all the thing so I'll select the gray line and repeat the same process so one thing I have to tell you so when I did for the gray lines uh, you can see that if I will zoom out the viewport there are little bit of lines outside so make sure that you don't want any unwanted lines in any part of your viewport because it will be difficult for you to work so I have deleted all the unwanted lines and if you will press Z, Z button it will go to the maximize viewport of the plan so if you if I press Z now you can see that it's still not zoomed in that means that there are some more objects like which you can see here at the far of the viewport so there is an orange line here so I will just click here and select and delete it which we don't want so if I press C again you can see the viewport is maximized so again I will repeat the same process for rest of the lines I'll go take this violet line
so now you can see my viewport is empty which means all the lines have been cleared and i have hidden those lines if you will click control a now you can see 260 objects selected which means those are the unwanted blocks again so you delete everything and if you will control select all by clicking control a you can see there is nothing in the viewport right now and now we can right click unhide by unhide all to bring all my lines which i worked on so if we have so if you have selected all the lines you can see there is only 19 entities selected from 2340 something uh, objects we have made into 19 objects and if you will press z it maximizes the viewport very well which means there is no any other unwanted objects outside my viewport or somewhere here so this is very good to go as a start for a plan so you can create you can uh, create a group and call it as ground floor and this will be like very very handy to use so this will be like very fast to use and so that's it for my first video of my youtube channel i hope you all like this video uh, many people may have got something new and it, this would be a very informative video thanks a lot and share your views share your comments share your valuable feedbacks and just let me know like what all things i have to do as i am just a beginner in my channel so i'll be doing more videos and i'll be sharing more of my tips and tricks and tutorials i'll be sharing more of my workshop and i'll be introducing more myself throughout my coming videos and all so that's it all my for my first videos please like and subscribe all of you guys thank you